G'day there, everyone. Daniel Anderson here. Now, we have a new app in Microsoft Teams simply called Meet. We're going to take a look at that, what it is, what functionality it's got, and why you would want to use it. So let's dive in and get cracking right now. So you can see I'm in Microsoft Teams. Now, you'll notice also that we now have a new little toggle button in the web version of Microsoft Teams to flick over to the new team. So that's the experience that I'm in right now. Now you can see in the left hand side, I've already pinned this app to the rail here. If you don't see that or you haven't pinned it already, you click your three little dots and you search for the app and you just search for the app called Meet. Okay, and then that will appear in the applications there for you to pin to the rail. Now, when we dive into Meet, it is purely focused on your meetings. So you can see we've got a home page here. And you can see what is up next. You can also open directly your calendar. So we can see here in Megan's view, we can see what meetings are up for tomorrow. And then also there's one on Saturday as well. So we can uh, navigate our way across and have a look at what we have coming up. We can see in the top um, bar here, we can join meetings with the ID. We can uh, start a meet now meeting or we can start a new meeting or schedule a meeting here. We've got our little drop down where we can, if we've got uh, templates, then we can choose and we can start a meeting from one of our predefined templates that we've got available to us as well. You'll also notice here that I can reschedule. I've got our three little dots here where we can uh, view the meeting details, we can cancel. If it's, an, uh, if it's a series of or a repeating event, we can obviously cancel either the uh, this particular occurrence or the series itself. Now, where it gets interesting is down here in the recent section. So we can see here that we've got all of our recently completed meetings. You can see down, I've got a listing of um, that Megan's just completed a couple today. But what is even better is that we've got any files and any content that has been shared throughout that meeting actually appear here in this recent view as well. We've also got the recording if it was recorded and we can view the recap. We've got a little tab here that is specifically for content. So any meeting that has been that you've been that you've attended uh, that has had content shared during that meeting will appear in this filtered view because we can see here we've got a, quite a few other meetings that don't have any content and they don't appear in this particular view. The same thing happens with recorded. So you can see there, when I flick over to recorded, any meeting that has been recorded will appear in this view. Now we can take action on these, so we can view the recap, all right? So we click, we open, and it opens up in Microsoft Teams and we can play the recording. If we had notes, then they would appear here. We've got the attendance report and we've also got the content associated that was shared in that particular meeting as well, all right? So a great little home or central place for all of our meetings, and it is called Meet, the new Microsoft Teams app uh, that will be available now in your tenant, and you can search for that, and you can have a, a nice uh, central portal, let's say, for all of your meetings, all of the content that was shared throughout those meetings, and also the recordings as well. No more diving through calendars or emails or things like that. We just come to meet and we've got everything in our central location. So once again, thanks for watching. See you in the next edition.